In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel diagram in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, the ramp comes or the platform comes here, then the first option comes where I have added this uh, interest and you can add some detailed text and I have added some few uh, consumers here. When I click with a different color combination, the second option comes, that is a decision, then the third option, action. The fourth option is the purchase and then we have added a new customer here. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the block R. Hold the shift key so that it get a perfect uh, semicircle. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then go to the shape form and rotate, rotate right 90 degrees. Then go to the effects. Under effects, go to the 3D rotation. From the presets, I'm going to choose which is the off axis one left here. And then the Y rotation, I'm going to make it as 75 and this one I'm going to make it as 0 then go to the 3d format depth I'm going to make this as 16 so it looks something like this now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D then comes to the effects again go to the 3d rotation under Y rotation I'm going to rotate it you can see here just rotate it maybe the 360 degrees we need to rotate and then attach this one you can see here first of all send this to back and attach this one so it looks kind of a, a circle here all right and press ctrl g to group it and hold the ctrl shift key you can increase the size depending on the requirement the next step is to make a platform for that go to insert shapes and select the rectangle draw a straight rectangle all right something like this shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click edit points and from this end i'm going to make it narrow so you can see here just bring this down and here also bring this down so it looks like this then go to the effects again once again go to the 3d rotation and here i'm going to choose or uh, maybe I can choose this one which is the perspective relax moderately and you can just increase this one you can see here all right and then increase the Y rotation and go to the uh, 3d format depth give the depth maybe 10 or you can give more also and then shape fill I'm going to give a light gray color here and now the one important thing which I want to tell you is like example if I send this to back so you know it's not going from this particular uh, the, the hole so what we need to do is we need to select this shape right mouse click and ungroup this one okay once you ungroup this one select the this one the dark blue color part and send this to back so you can see here it looks like this is going from the uh, from the, 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 run, the pathway or the runway or from this particular hole okay so now I'm just going to select both the shapes and move it a little bit up hold the control shift key drag it to the right and press control G if you want to group it so that I can reduce the size or I can just hold the control shift key and I can reduce the size like this also okay and then select this one and send this to back so you can see here so depending on the requirement how much the size you want that based on that one you can increase it or decrease it so it looks more smaller so i'm going to increase again a little bit hold the control shift key and increase the size so you can see here so now i'm going to add one more hold the control shift key drag it once again all right and then again send this to back and again select both the shapes hold the control shift key and I'm going to reduce the size so this is one and then the last also I'm going to add it here all right again send this to back and then select both the shapes hold the control shift key reduce the size 
let me just do it once again hold the control shift key and reduce the size and if it is went like this you can just again attach it not a problem right so you can see here i have added the four uh, this kind of the funnel designs all right and then the last one which i'm going to do is insert shapes i'm going to select the whole shape hold the shift key okay if you look something like this shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and go to the effects again one more time go to the 3d rotation i'm going to choose this one which is the off axis one left you can see here and then the depth also i'm going to give which is maybe 16 and i'm going to put it here i can increase the size by holding the control shift key send this to back all right so it looks something like this and then i can go to the insert shapes again select the rectangle sorry the oval shape hold the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give some dark gray color again i'm going to give the same thing the 3d rot rotation which is this one all right and then you can go to the soft edges increase the size of the soft edges and bring it here it looks kind of a the hole here again send this to back so it looks something like this you can see here all right so again if you want you can just reduce the size a little bit yeah so this is how it will look and then it's time for us to insert some text and some images of the person so for the insert to insert the images you can go to insert click on icons and i'm going to choose uh, some icons of the people so in that case you have to go to the cutout people and you've got different people so i'm going to select some of the people here you can see here randomly i'm going to select so randomly few images you can see here let me just select and click insert then the images will be inserted here and then what you can do is once it's inserted all right and then hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here and move it up and then whichever image you want for example i need this image and i'm going to rotate it to flip horizontal here i'm going to place it one image here this lady already reached the end point i'm going to put it at the last here and then this man is thinking i can just put it here again i can rotate it you can see here you can see let me just rotate it perfectly yeah okay and then this lady i'm going to put it here and i'm going to and add few more images here and if you want you can just reduce the size and put it at this entrance as well so the next part is you can go insert the text here so here this will be your title one center align make it bold you can put the title one here and go to the insert text box equals lorem within bracket one i don't want this much large text delete this part center align reduce the font size and i'm going to give a gray, a gray color and this will come here so now i'm going to press ctrl d this will come here ctrl d for this ctrl d and you can just change the title to two three four like that and one more thing which you can do is you can just change the color of this one so go to the shape format shape fill i'm going to give maybe an orange color here and here also orange color then here i can give maybe a red and here also red color here i'm going to give maybe green and here also green color here i'm going to give a kind of a purple and for this we can give any color maybe a gray or black or whatever whichever color which you feel okay so now you can see here we have completed this one so let me just change this to the title 3 and title 4 so this way you can just create the funnel uh, diagram in powerpoint and if you want you can add some basic animation effects to it
so let's do the animation close the format background go to the animations tab go uh, enable the animation pane the first which i'm going to do is i'm going to select the platform and i can make it a wipe effect wipe effect it should happen from left so it looks something like this and then i'm going to select these two by holding the shift key you can see here this one and this one and here i can make it uh, maybe a fly in fly in should happen from left so it comes something like this okay and then these two i'm going to select and again fly in should happen again from left all right so this one and this one again fly in from left so you can see here then this and this fly in also from left all right and then later on you can add the animation for this also which is i can just make it uh add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to make it a uh, basic zoom so it looks something like this all right and this should happen after previous so if i play the ramp will come here you can see here then the first option second third fourth and fifth so what you can do is once this option comes you can add this anime the text should come so let me just group this Control G to group it all right and then this text I'm going to select all these four text go to the animations add animation more intense effects I'm going to select stretch click OK stretch it should happen from top so for each one now once this is done the text should come so this text is this one it should go here and it should be with previous or after previous so here also this one should go for the this one which is here this one should go for this and this one should go for this so now let me just play so you can see here the ram comes the option one the text two three four and five and then these people also you can just do some kind of simple animation where i can make it add animation more entrance effect i can make it peek in also you can see here click ok and this should happen after previous so if i play now so the ram comes the first option second option the third one the fourth one and then this people peeks in here